what we're going to do today is it's a really important day because uh, for the Sea Angling Classic, because we're going to go and see how the apprentices have been working on this, uh, the, the trophy, which is going to be a piece of historic artifacts the moment it's created. It is indeed. The trophy is a, a lot of thoughts going into um, the manufacture. It's going to be made out of some from rare metals, let's say, and some uh, artifacts. But no, it's good for the apprentices, it's good for Portsmouth. Um, hopefully we'll show you some, some skills which are not seen before. Let's go and see the apprentices, let's see what they've done. Can't wait to see the designs of this incredible trophy. Perfect, let's go. So the apprentices in Portsmouth would be those, be the people that would be making this incredible trophy, designed in conjunction with BAE Systems, the Hythe Marine Group, and all those within the historic dockyard here. From an idea, it went to a sketch. So here's the original sketch. Yep, this is what our engineers originally came up with, just throwing ideas at it, throwing what they thought they could make of it. And then, you know, this eventually came round to the design we're going off of. So the artist's impression of that, and then from the artist's impression, of course, it moved on. So from the artist's impression, we needed to have the, uh, the apprentices to look at this as well, and to start to work with this idea. Yeah, we worked on the prototype here. So we had to get bits of template wire which we used from old jobs as a recycled material and we had to TIG weld them on but it didn't work straight away so we had to keep adjusting it to make sure it was right. But that was why we made the prototype so the, the little mistakes and the finicky bits we could get wrong first. Not wrong necessarily but where it didn't look quite as good as we hoped we could fix it and we ended up coming up with this which we thought looked good. See what we're working with so we have a better idea when we're going to make the real thing and we've got something to work off and look at so we've got a visual aspect to learn from. Exactly. So as I move move through, I mean, looking at the actual design. So what are the what are the different stages that you've actually gone through to do that? Yeah. So we've um, taken obviously the drawings and the prototype, which has helped us of scale, and then we've moved on to using some like uh, 3D um, tools on the computer. So this is on Inventor, um, basically to try and produce something that we can give to um, workshop staff that can then make into a real thing. Obviously, once we've got the um, materials from Victory and the uh, Queen Elizabeth but yes we've basically planned out so we're going to have the uh, logo embossed on the base here and just yeah make it look smart. We've got great craftsmen uh, in the dockyard um, and it'd be great to be part of that uh, putting the trophy together using the materials from uh, uh, the Victory and, uh, and the aircraft carrier um, using those recycled materials uh, to come out with a a prestige trophy that's going to be seen all over the world. It'd be brilliant. We're in a real important stage at the moment, which is actually the design stage uh, and getting the proportions right. Obviously, uh, Hive Marine have, have, have made up a, a mock um, of the trophy, uh, and now we're just sort of trying to put scales together, uh, trying to get some detail in. So we've got the, the guys down in the machine shop at the moment. Um, doing some 3D modelling so we can show, so what we're looking at doing is getting an embossed fish on there. Yep. Um, we've taken your original sea angling design and, and then from, from the artist's impression they've put the wordings inside so we, we, it's at the whole design stage which the lads are working on at the moment um, and then it's going to, we're looking forward to the manufacture side because uh, we, we're always waiting for the designers who eat into production time, so we're, we're <laughs> yeah, waiting I'm for them, aren't we? I'm always holding it up when yeah. I'm on that stage. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so look, I mean, from the Hythe Marine Group, uh, looking at the different things that have gone on in terms of the actual production of this particular trophy, I mean, already, I mean, even looking at the three levels here and how that kind of steps up from, you know, the, the, the basic start here, you know, what, what have your, your, your thoughts been with the, with the apprentices involved? The apprentices being involved is an amazing journey from the start to the finish. To be a first year, second year apprentice and have the opportunity to manufacture, let alone come up with a design for something this prestige. Um, and they're world class. The, the, the training we're in partnership with BAE to do with the apprenticeships, it's world class training and it's time to show off as well. Let's go and have a look at uh, the, 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 the elements of what this trophy is going to be made from. I can't wait to get down there, I can't wait to see this, and I can't just wait to see all the different next steps of, of all the guys and the apprentices and the work they're going to put together to actually make the real trophy as we go forward. Indeed, I can't wait to see this finished concept.